Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a quick update for those who work with Kaden Live. Kaden Live is an open source NLA, which is a non-linear editor. And of course, this is available for everyone who would like to work with it. The Kaden Live folks have released the Kaden Live 21.08, and this comes with a couple of improvements from the engine to bug fixes and many user interface and usability improvements, Kaden Life 21.08 actually does good for those working with it. And for sure, you might be asking what are the features that comes with this non-linear open source editor and some of them include the multi-track video editing. There is also several formats for video and audio that you can use with Kaden Life. There's a configurable user interface which allows you to dock, undock and also save your own layout. And for those working with tiles, there's a huge set of tiling options that you can work with. There's also also many effects and transitions that comes with Kaden Live and for audio and video scopes you can actually check your waveform, your audio meter, your histogram, vector scope and so on. Kaden Live also offers proxy editing, automatic backup, online resources, timeline preview and so much more. So just in case you know you like to get this you may consider checking this out. Meanwhile, there are certain features that now comes with Kaden Live 21.08 but most of the things that they've done are under the hood. Some of the things you would notice include the performance time remapping which deals with keyframing your movie strip and time remapping it so you can make it faster or slower depending on what you want. There's a masking effect that comes in three different types which includes shape mask, rotoscoping mask and also the alpha mask. You may also want to check out some usability and interface improvements that deals with moving guides with spacer tool and this actually happens once you work with a brand new guide lock option and uh, you can get some very cool things with that. There's also some updates to the shortcuts so just in case you want to add some custom shortcuts you can actually do that. You can also play with the command bar. So within the command bar there's more of a universal sort of command system that now exists so you can search for different functions and also tasks and get them happening directly within your Kaden Live user interface. With this new update you'll be able to copy values at cursor position to clipboard. You can also work with new mapping modes and options when you import tracked data. This is definitely something that most people working with tracked data would also want to check out. And with all this said, there is a full log of things that Kaden Live folks have actually fixed. So tons and tons and tons of things that they fixed for this one. And by all means, if you're working with Kaden Live, you may want to go through and update your version to Kaden Live 21.08. So this is, you know, these are some of the things that you will be able to get with this one. So just in case you would like to read more about this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you here. Meanwhile, we already talked about Kaden Live previously. So just in case you're looking for a walkthrough video, there is also one in the description that you can check out. With the UI open right here, you would notice that everything seems to look the same. Actually, everything is the same. You can see that. And for those who are looking at the UI for the first time, this is basically what you get. From this part is where you would notice some sort of workspace toggling so you can go from login to editing to audio effects and color very similar to what you can get with davinci resolve so with resolve you have i guess this is what they call login and uh this is where you get to see your clips this is for your effect and this effect has to do with you going over to fusion doing all that stuff this is for your color your audio and finally you export things out here so i kind of think that is mostly you know the very same thing from this part let's say we would like to explore something that they've also added so if we right click and go over to time remap let's explore that time remapping feature from this point if we would say we would like our character to start from here and have a slow review of the face we can get to this point and add a keyframe and then we can go to the point where it reveals the face add another keyframe and probably we can go to another point and just simply add another keyframe and we're good. So how this works is as simple as going to that keyframe which you want to kickstart the slow movement. In this case, we'll like from this point to this point to be slow. We can select this and within the section where you get to notice the speed before and the speed after, I'll just simply set the speed to half. And once you do that, you notice there's a rippling effect to all of this. So these ones would maintain the very same speed for themselves, but from this point to this point would have a change of speed. Okay. So if we move this all the way back and press the space bar or the playback button, you can now notice that. So you would notice that the movement is a bit slower once she starts removing the scarf, contrary to what you get from here, which is a bit more faster. Okay. So you can actually use this and do some more stuff if we set this 
to 20, it will be a bit more pronounced. So if we press the playback button, you can see that, you know, that sort of frame dragging stuff. And uh, yeah, for those asking, how can we get this? Is this available for Windows and Mac? Yes, of course it is. It's actually available for Windows and Linux and not so much for Mac because there's uh, something that deals with volunteers and also the Mac thing being outdated. So for Windows users and Linux users, you can simply dive over to, you know, kdenlife.org, grab this open source non-linear editor, start playing with it. If you would like to get a walkthrough, there is one in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'd like to see you guys again with the tutorial updates, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.